The CDC is delaying a vote on who gets a COVID-19 vaccine first. Panel members say the issue needs more study. There's general agreement that frontline health care workers should be first in line, but it's unclear who should be next. People at a high risk of complications or essential workers. New tonight, rapid testing for COVID-19 is now available at Oak Park Mall. KNBC 9's Alan Shope tells us the company doing this testing claims that they can get you results in an hour. All they test for is a virus, specifically the COVID-19 virus. That's how HealthGage president Scott McLaughlin says his company is able to get a result so quick. No qualification, same day appointments, and we text you a negative or positive result within an hour. It's an $80 test that Scott says is 96.7% accurate. HealthGage opening up just a week ago at the Oak Park Mall. He says the test is less invasive. We just have to go just far enough to get that Q-tip wet. Scott says they use the same machines hospital use, and daily demand is up from 20 tests on average last week to nearly 70 this week and they expect that to be as many as 300 tests daily very soon. We are the only model like ours that is doing uh, high volume drive through quick tests. The group says the entire process only takes about five to 10 minutes and the results are back in about an hour. They say because of that, their drive through lane has been busy all day long. This test has only really been on the market for three months. Scott says you do need to go online or call and sign up for the test before showing up. In Overland Park, Alan Chope, KNBC 9 News. Health Gage has three testing sites open, two in Iowa, one in Kansas City. Alan has all the information on his KMBC Facebook page. 343 new coronavirus cases are being reported in the nine county Kansas City area. This is the rolling seven day average down from a week ago. Here's a look at the number of cases since the pandemic began. Kansas City, Missouri, Johnson County, Kansas and Jackson County, Missouri have the most. Cass County recently passed Clay County on this list. And the Kansas City, Kansas School Board approved reopening gyms and cafeterias for students facing technology issues. District officials say that they're working on a plan that will offer two hour windows for assistance. It'll require students to sign up. The district says that it will release more details at a later time.